All right, this is day one of a new unit that is all about matrices. So today we're going to do some basic matrix operations. For example, problem number one, we're just subtracting. Of course, to subtract matrices, you simply subtract the corresponding entries. So for example, I'm doing two minus one. Okay, so um, as I go to do that, right, so that's going to be one. And then negative three minus zero is just negative three. One minus negative three. Be careful. When you do minus a negative, like one minus negative three, please understand that that is addition. That's the same thing as one plus three, which is four. So that's why I'm going to get a four right here. All right, because I'm doing one minus negative three. That's one plus three, which is four. Okay, four minus seven, negative three. Two minus two is zero. And negative five, here we go again, minus negative one. All right, negative five minus negative one. <clears throat> That's same as negative five plus one, which is negative four. Okay, so this would be the answer for number one. Number three. Um, well, we've got some multiplication to do first. So multiplying by number is just going to um, be like this. So two times one is two, two times four is eight. <clears throat> And then here, If I did three times everything, then that would be minus um, 12 and three. But then this is not possible. It's not possible. The, um, in order to add or subtract matrices, the dimensions have to be the same. And uh, looking at this, this matrix is a two by one matrix. But this is a one by two matrix. So those have to be the same in order to add or subtract. So number three, not possible. Okay, let's do number five here in stages. Okay, I'm gonna save the, the uh, negative two thirds out front for later. Okay, so right now I've got my Uh, <clears throat> my 1, 3 matrix plus, now I'm going to go ahead and multiply this 5, so that's going to be negative 5 and 20 plus, and I've got my 6 and my 1. All right, <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and do all of this stuff on the inside here. So this is going to be I'm still going to have my negative two-thirds out here. Okay, but let's see, one and negative five, that's negative four, <coughs> plus six is positive two. Now down here, I have three plus 20, that's 23, plus one, so that's 24. So I'll have this, all right? This two and 24 came from adding all three of these and all three of these. All right, so now I need to multiply by the negative two thirds. Um, I feel like doing a scratch paper type of thing, or maybe this is a calculator type of thing. If I do, if I do negative two thirds times two, All right, I could put this in the calculator, but I know that this is really like two over one. So this is going to be negative, but two times two is four, and three times one is three. So that's negative four over three. Okay, so that's going to be the top number is negative four over three. Now the bottom one, If I do negative two over three times 24, 
<clears throat> that's like 24 over 1. Okay. Um, now, I like to do this in pieces. Like, and not everybody can hang with me when I do this, but if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, look at that 3 and that 24. Right, 3 goes into 24 8 times. Alright, so I can go ahead and do that division. So that just leaves negative 2 times 8, which is negative 16. So I'm going to have a negative 16 right here. All right, of course, I could have put it in my calculator if I was uncomfortable at all, and uh, I would have gotten the same answer. All right, so this would be my answer for that one. What's next? All right, number seven. Man, look at all those fractions. That is ugly. Okay, so... I'm just gonna take this in pieces. So that first matrix, if I do one fourth times everything, so one fourth times one half is uh, one eighth. One times one, four times two. One fourth times negative two okay, that's like uh, negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. Okay, now if I do 1 fourth times 1 third, that is 1 twelfth. And 1 fourth times 1 fourth, that is 1 sixteenth. Again, 1 times 1, 4 times 4. Okay, so that's the first matrix that I get. All right, now I have to multiply this three times everything. <coughs> three times one eighth is just three eighths. Three times one ninth is three ninths. Okay, um, but this reduces down to one third. Now, 3 times negative 2, of course, is negative 6. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So this is what I have. <clears throat> so now I'm ready to go ahead and add the corresponding terms. One-eighth plus three-eighths. Okay, if I put those together, that makes four eighths. All right, one eighth plus three eighths is four eighths. But of course, that is just one half once I reduce. So that will give me one half. Okay, similarly, if I do, um, one twelfth plus negative six. All right, just to be real clear, I'm just going to put this straight in the calculator. All done? Thank you. All right, brother. So I could do. See you in class. One twelfth plus negative six. Okay, that is negative seventy one over twelve. Okay, negative one half plus one third. That's negative one six. And one sixteenth 
plus negative 9. That is negative 143 over 16. All right, I would recommend uh, using the calculator for that part. Um, so there we go. Okay, how many more of these do we have to do? Okay, this is the last one. This is not difficult, but it's a little bit tedious. So if you're like me, you probably find it a bit annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do like the distributive property with these guys. So that means for now, I'm still gonna have my three out here. Okay, so I'm gonna have my my two matrices still on the inside, like this. All right, I'm not sure why my handwriting is so sloppy. Okay, so two times one is two, and uh, two times four is eight. We get negative four. Two times three is six. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Now over here, I've got two sevenths times seven. Off to the side, you know, two sevenths times seven. Those sevens are just going to cancel each other out, so that's going to be two. You know, I mean, if you had to do that in a calculator, you could, but if you're a little bit clever, you won't need to. All right. Similarly, if I do two, oh, wait, yeah, if I <clears throat> two seventh times negative fourteen, so I got two seventh times negative fourteen. It's like over one. Seven goes into fourteen twice. And that negative, I'm just going to bring it up. So that's 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. All right, 2 7 times 0 is 0. 2 7 times negative 7. OK, those 7s cancel out. I still got that negative, so that'll be negative 2. Then we already did this one. 2 7 times 7 is just 2. And then finally, 2 sevenths times negative 21. So if I have 2 sevenths times negative 21, remember it's like 21 over 1. 7 goes into 21 uh, 3 times. So it's really 2 times negative 3. So that's going to be negative 6. OK, that is splendid. All right, so now I could add, add these two matrices together. Um, let me erase some of this chicken scratch. Just so messy, you gotta clean it up. All right. So I still have this three out there, um, but this will be a little tidier. So two plus two, four. Eight plus negative four, four. Negative four plus zero is negative four. It's a lot of fours. Six plus negative two, another four. Up uh, and finally the streak is ruined. Zero plus two is two. And 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. All right, still was a lot of 4s. And then for the final answer, I just go ahead and multiply everything by this 3. So for the final answer, I guess I'll switch over to red. Seems to be what I've been doing. So that's just going to be 12, 12, negative 12, 12, 6 negative 12 okay
That seems to be the answer to that one. Number nine. All right, as long as I did not make a careless mistake, that's what it is. That's what it is. Now, solving for x and y. Some of these are very easy, and some of them require solving systems of equations. Um, but let's start with this. I need to do uh, this distributive property type of thing. Uh, this scalar multiplication, where I multiply all these by 2. So this matrix is really um, 2 and 6y and 12 and negative 8x. Okay, that is a real matrix. So I can sort of, you know, I don't feel like replacing this entire thing. So, um, you know what, maybe I just won't be lazy. For a second, I really wanted to be lazy. Um, so we've got x plus 4, negative 4, 2 minus y. So I've got this plus this equals this. Okay, it took like 20 seconds. All right. Now, um, let's say if I want to, uh, if I want to find these variables, I can start making some equations here. So, look at this. All of these corresponding terms go together to make an equation. So here's the first one. All right. Uh, the first one is x plus four plus six y must equal 1, all right? This corner plus this corner has to equal that corner. Um, I can simplify this a little by subtracting 4 from both sides, but that still leaves me with x plus 6y is equal to negative 3, okay? Now, I can get another equation. I feel like I should change colors. I can get another equation um, by doing this. Um, like, look at the y's. This corner plus this corner should equal this corner. Okay, so, whoops. So that means 2 minus y plus negative 8x. All right, and I really could just put minus 8x. Why did I put a y? Whoa. Whoa, slow down. And that should equal 24. Now, I really don't like to put plus negative something. I like to just put minus instead. Okay, again, I can clean this up a little bit by subtracting 2 from both sides. Um, so that's going to give me negative y minus 8x is equal to 22. Okay, so now it's time to either do a substitution or elimination to solve these two. I'm going to go ahead and do substitution. Okay, if I were to subtract 6y from both sides, that would give me x equals negative 6y minus 3. I could take this and substitute it in right here. Okay. okay. So this is going to give me, I feel like I'm going to need a lot of space, so I'm going to bring it over. So this is going to give me negative y minus 8. Now here's where the substitution comes in, so I'm going to put a parentheses for my x, and that should equal 22. It's all right here. But inside the parentheses is my negative 6y minus 3. So that's going to give me negative y 
Now be careful when you distribute. This is a negative 8. I'm distributing a negative. So like, you know, negative times a negative is a positive. So this will be positive 48y and a positive uh, 24. All right, a lot of kids mess that up and just distribute 8. It is a negative 8 I am distributing. Okay, now these are like terms. So if I put those together, I get 47y plus 24 is equal to 22. Hmm. I feel like this is not going to come out nicely. Um, anyways, if I subtract 24 from both sides, I'm going to get 47y is equal to negative 2. So that means y is equal to negative 2 over 47. Okay, if that is really the answer, that's the ugliest answer I've ever seen. I'm going to go back and check my work. All right, of course I got y by itself by dividing. <clears throat> All right, I don't see I don't see a wrong answer right now. So I'm just going to keep going. So if I take this y and plug it back in, Okay, remember that x is equal to negative 6y minus 3. Alright, so that's negative 2 over 47. minus 3. <clears throat> wow, that's negative 129 over 47. Alright, I feel like I'm making a mistake. Let me go back and check my answers. Okay. The New York Yankees won the 1998 World Series in four games. Bam, 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 bam. The matrices below show the statistics for runs, hits, and RBIs for each team in each game. Labeled thusly. Write a matrix that gives the series statistics. All right. In other words, we want one matrix that gives the number the number of runs, hits and RBIs um, for each team for the entire series instead of by game. So of course to do that, we need to add up all the corresponding entries for all four matrices. I will call this matrix S for series. And here it is, 13, 32, 11, 26, 43, 25. For example, 13 came from doing 6 plus 3 plus 4 plus 0. All right, do that over and over again for each corresponding entry. That's where these numbers are coming from. Moving on, number 14. Which team had the most hits for the series? Okay, well... San Diego had 32 hits for the series, whereas New York had 43 hits for the series. So, New York. Um, okay, what about number 15? What is entry T21 in the new matrix? 
All right, first of all, oh, was I supposed to use T for the name of the matrix? Did they tell me that? Then, okay, they didn't say to use T, whatever, two, one. So that's a uh, row two, column one. So this is the second row, first column, that's the 26. All right, now, what does this entry represent? Um, this entry represents the fact that New York had uh, 26 runs in the entire series. All right, and that is it for this introduction to matrices. I hope you found it helpful and enlightening.